Hey guys, it's Jen from I Create Crafts. Today I'm going to show you an awesome tutorial on how to make custom clothing. Like this one I made for my husband for our Homestead How channel. Of course I had to make one for myself for my I Create Crafts. And then I also made one for my daughter for her dog kennel retreat. So come along and I will show you a quick way to do this with HTV vinyl and a heat press. Hey guys, so I'm going to be showing you a quick tutorial on how to make a uh, personalized shirt. So I'm starting in Design Space and I'm going to go to my projects up here. I already have my image that I want to use, so I'm going to click on the one I want and I'm going to customize it. So I'm going to use this Evergreen Dog Retreat one and then this Homestead How Learn With Us. The dog retreat um, we have on our property and my daughter runs that for us. And then the Homestead How one is our um, other channel, our YouTube channel. So if you want to check that out, it's pretty neat over there. So you just go to homesteadhow.com or you can just um, go on YouTube and type in Homestead How and it'll show you. Um, it's pretty fun. My husband does all the videos, all the editing, everything. Um, shows you what we do on our homestead so it's kind of fun so I'm just going to show you quickly um, how to do these so I already have all these these two things created but I want two different sizes so even if you had an image that you wanted to use you can um, upload it into into design space or you can purchase them off of Etsy or anywhere else and you can also um, import those into design space and work that way but I just created these myself um, and then well actually I created created this one myself and then this homestead how learn with us is on our homestead page so I just copied the image and I saved it into design space so just quickly I'm gonna click on the first one and just resize it I think I want to do a little one up on the shoulder area and then maybe a large one for the front I know she wants a couple different shirts so depending on what size you want you just kind of want to um, work with whatever you want I'm gonna make my screen just a little bit smaller there we go and we can work with it better but depending on what size you want you basically just cut it out however you want it if you're gonna do different um, colors you can do that mine is um, going to be all uh, white for both of them I had I purchased some black t-shirts off of Amazon so I'm just gonna put them on here so I'm just gonna change the size of these really quickly okay so I think I'm gonna do a couple different sizes so for this first one the evergreen dog retreat for my daughter I'm gonna change it to be six by four and we'll see how that looks so what the already selected I'm gonna go up here to the little unlock button and then change this to six by four and that still looks good so I'm gonna leave that one then I'm gonna do this one the homestead how learn with us and I think I'm gonna do that one six by three and see how that looks so with the already selected I'm gonna click the unlock box and then do six by three and I don't like how that looks that's why you gotta work with things and I think with these two, I'm just going to put it like up on the shoulder, the breast area, just a little one that they can wear. And then I'm going to make a bigger one for the middle of the shirt. So I'm going to select all. And then while it's selected, I'm going to push the duplicate button. And that's just going to make me the same thing that we just did. And then I don't have to go and um, copy and paste both of these. So I'm just going to do another one. So this one is going to be a three by four and we'll see how it looks. Or no, I'm sorry. Yeah, three by four. So with it already selected, I'm going to go up here and click the unlock and then see how that looks. Well, it's not too bad. And then the same thing with this one. I'm going to try a two by five and see how it looks. Oops. There, perfect. So I just want a larger one that can go in the center of their shirts and then a smaller one for a different shirt that they can have as well and um, you can play around with them you can make a little bit bigger a little bit smaller however you want so I like how these look and I, I'm gonna do them white so instead of just changing them all from black to white I'm just gonna leave it as it is and everything is attached already so <clears throat> I don't have to push attach down here so everything will cut out the way I see it so I'm gonna click make it and I don't have my machine on just yet so it might yell at me but I'm gonna move these over and um, I'm using the HTV the heat transfer vinyl so one thing you have to remember is that you want to um, mirror the image 
So I'm just going to move them a little bit so I can get, you know, in between with my scissors. And I'm going to click the mirror button and then um, make sure that when you put your HTV down on your mat, you want to put the shiny side down. So that's also really another important thing to remember. So I'm going to leave this the way it looks. I'm going to connect my machine. I will cut this out. I will weed it out. And then I will show you the next part with my heat press. So I have my heat press on 380 for 20 seconds already and I purchased these black t-shirts on Amazon. Um, so the first thing you want to do is just put it on and get a nice flat surface going. So I just leave it down for a couple seconds just like an iron just gets it flat. And then with it being flat you want to find the center. So you want to take your edges and completely line them up by the arms here and by the neck and then once you've got it in the middle you're going to want to press it again and the reason you want to do that is you want to find the middle of your shirt and then you're going to want to take one of your files that you did, the Homestead How one, and I'm gonna reverse it, and I'm gonna just put it in the center as well. So then you know what the center piece of this is as well. So now that that pressed, I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but there's a line going right down the middle of the shirt. So I can see it, so now I know where the middle is. So I'm gonna take it again, I'm going to take my file that I just put in the middle so I know where the center of this is too. So I'm going to double check. And then you can go off the line on your shirt, see in the middle here. And you can lay your file wherever you want it. But again, you know the center of it and then you want it three inches down from the neckline. Once you have it where you want it. You put your paper over it, and then you press it for the 20 seconds. Okay, so once it's done beeping, you want to pull this off. And then depending on what kind of HTV you have, you might want to, you might want to check with it, but mine is um, to pull this part off when it's still hot. Some of them are cool to pull off, but there you go. Well, I'm going to homestead how I'll learn with this t-shirt for my husband. Really easy to make. Then I have several more that I'm going to be doing the same thing with. This one is a little bit larger, but I'll do it in the middle. I'll fold this like I showed you before. I'll fold the shirt and then I'll do the same thing. So if you don't have a heat press, which I just bought this a couple months ago and it's the best thing I've ever gotten, um, you can use an iron as well. You have to, you'll have to research um, what setting and how long to put it on for. I'm not really sure. I don't know offhand, but I know for the heat press for cotton, it's about 380 for 20 seconds. So I'm going to go ahead and do the second one. And again, you just want to line the neck part up and then you want to line the edge pieces up here. And then I just press it and please be very careful because up here is very hot. You do not want to touch that part. Bottom part is not hot. Once you get it flat, you just push it, press it for a couple seconds. Okay, so now I'm finished with that part, and again, you can tell where the middle is. So you go right off of that. And then I'm gonna be using this bigger one. So again, I'm just gonna take it, line it up, and just give it a little crease that you can tell where the center part of this is and the center part of your shirt is. And again, you wanna go about three inches down from the neckline. So again, you want to put it on, make sure you put your liner on, and then press it. Um, 
Again, you can use an iron, but I was using iron and all my stuff was peeling up. So I invested in this. I think it was about 150 or $170, uh, but it was well worth the price. So it started beeping, so I'm gonna take it off. And then again, slowly just peel back. And then here's the second one, as you can see, it's in middle with the shirt and it's um, completely lined up and it's about three inches from the neckline. So I'm gonna let this one sit and work in the next ones. Um, I'm just gonna do the same thing, but that's as easy as it is. I will leave a, a link in the description below for the heat press if you're interested in getting one. It's really great investment. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and finish these and then I'll show you the finished product. YouTube is black. Okay, how far? I put it, just put it down now, I got it lined up. Yeah, did you put the thing over it? Yes. Do I gotta take it out now? Mm -hmm. It's not coming up. Did we go on? What did I say? So this is nice and warm. Jen made me these, my sweatshirt, Homestead How Learn With Us, and a t-shirt. That's pretty cool. Now you gotta put a little YouTube thing there for me. You do that? 